Hi guys, you're watching Sci-Fi Gen. You can identify a vector maze by looking at its edges. A vector maze will always appear smooth, no matter how large you make it or how close you zoom in. Because files are only identified by mathematical descriptions and not by individual pixels. Vector images which are made of thin lines and curves known as paths are created by using mathematical theory. Any of the lines and curves in the image can be assigned a color value. Each line includes defined node position, node location, line lengths, and curves, so it uses geometrical formulas to represent images. When you enlarge a vector graphic, the math formulas stay the same, rendering the same visual graphic no matter the size. Vector graphics can be scaled to any size without losing quality. Master graphics file contain all the information for every single pixel of the image that you are working with. Each of these pixels has an X and Y coordinates as well as color information associated with it. When we say raster graphics are made out of pixels, so when we compare pixels to vector graphics, we are talking exclusively about raster graphics pixels and not the pixels your monitor displays. JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group. JPEG uses a lossy form of compression based on DCT which is discrete cosine transform. JPEG is a popular image file format and it is commonly used. The 60 million possible colors in a JPEG image are produced by using 8 bits for each color in the RGB color space, which is 256 values for each of the three colors. The compression algorithm is lossy, meaning some image quality is lost during the compression process. For this reason, professional digital photographers often choose to capture images in a raw format so they can edit their photos in the highest quality possible. GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format. GIF files are commonly used on the internet, along with several other file formats, which uses a lossless data compression technique that reduces file size without quality loss. The limited number of colors in GIF is used to limit the file size of images. GIF is only limited to 256 colors, a way less colors than JPEG. GIF supports LZW compression or LZW compression, which is a lossless algorithm. GIF are widely used on the web due to its portability and relatively small size, making GIFs available in any browser and on any platform and fast to load. The best choice for image that features solid color, text, and simple shapes. Examples would be buttons, icons, or banners, since they have hard edges and simple colors. If you are working with photos or other images that feature color gradation, GIF is not recommended here. GIF files transparency allows GIF files to blend with websites' background colors. 
you cannot use them for partial transparency, drop shadows and for similar effects. To achieve that, PNG files are best. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. It offers better compression and additional features, but it doesn't support animation for which GIFs are now most commonly used. A file with the PNG file extension is a portable network graphics file. The format uses lossless compression. It's possible to work with layers. It can't store multiple images in one file. PNG supports transparency. It is not recommended working with full color images. TIFF stands for Tag Image File Format used for storing high quality raster graphic. The format supports lossless compression. TIFF files offer options to use tags, layers, and transparency and are compatible with photo manipulation programs like Photoshop. If you plan to edit digital images in a working storage format, consider TIFF your go to. If you are looking for a small file or a web friendly format, TIFF isn't recommended. TIFF isn't really used on the web, but if you need to save a file in the highest quality format that can be read by a variety of programs that you're gonna be printing in all these different places, then TIFF is the way to go.